As kids, we all create, don't we? As kids, we all, we're all drawing, we're all painting, we're encouraged to do all those things. And somewhere along the line in this culture, it starts to get discouraged. But the reality is that we're all creative, we're all pretty expressive, and I think we all enjoyed doing those things and engaging in the artistic process. I guess I'm just one of the few survivors who went straight from the, the kid to adulthood doing the same thing. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dustin Harewood, and I am a painter. Yes, I am. I would say I've got three bodies of work that I move back and forth between. I have these floating head portraits that I do. Uh, I have these uh, dead reef portraits that I do, which are more focused on Barbados, where my family's from, Japan, where my wife is from. Uh, and then I have a third series of works, which are more non-objective for the most part, abstraction. And I move through the three. And I think that's really, it works for me because when I get when I get bored of one, then I just move into the next and so on and so forth. I just keep bouncing between them. Teaching here at FSCJ is it's been fantastic. I feel really lucky to have stumbled into this job. Uh, what's beautiful about it is, as an artist, I feel like every day I'm just like following my dreams. And the beautiful thing about this job is that I get to help other people figure out <laughs> how to follow their dreams as well. And I think that's a, it's a huge uh, responsibility. It's so much fun to be here, to watch watch the city continue to like grow and change like right before your eyes there are a lot of really talented artists around here and as you can tell by the show that's coming up what's exciting is collaborating and working with different artists so we started looking at ways to hold ticketed events um, that attracted individuals of a certain economic bracket that were comfortable you know, spending $500 to $5,000 on artwork, but they might need to know more about the artists or just how to go about collecting in general. And that led to us talking to Aaron Garvey of Long Road Projects and then talking to Dustin Harewood, which was the relationship or the inter uh, introduction between Christy and Dustin, which everything kind of snowballed from there. Um, but realistically, it, it all just started with an idea, um, kind of a desired end result, and then facilitating a few relationships and connections. The city is not already oversaturated with a ton of art professionals. It feels like the artists who are here and the art professionals who are here have more of a say or more of a stake in what's happening and how things are developing. And so it's a privilege to be a part of that. It's pretty exciting. It's pretty exciting. All right, if you want to check out Dustin's work in person, it starts tonight, so definitely do it at 5.30 p.m. at Space Gallery. For more information, go to our website, rivercitywise.tv.com. It's a free event, and kids are welcome.